Has this ever happened to you? You've been playing your all time favorite game on the Beep Boop 3000, when suddenly someone asks if they can join you. Eager to make a friend, you quickly offer them your spare controller. They take one look at it and see it's dirty, missing the battery cover, and the joysticks look like they've been chewed on by a toddler. You've deeply offended them, and now they want nothing to do with you. Well, luckily I can show you how to fix all of this so you can avoid this embarrassment. The screws on these controllers are all hidden, so the first thing you'll need to do is unclip the side covers with the pry tool. After that you can use a Torx T9 bit to remove the outer 4 screws. There is one more screw hidden under the sticker in the battery compartment. With those removed, the faceplate lifts straight off giving you access to the chewed out thumbsticks. If all you are doing is swapping out the thumbsticks with a new pair, this is all you need to do. You can just whack in the new ones, put the faceplate back on, and practice your basketball shots with the grotty old sticks. However, this controller is in desperate need of a bath, so I'll continue tearing it apart. The back plate just lifts off, and the battery terminals can be unclipped with a flathead bit and pushed out. The bracket that holds down the D-pad can be unclipped with a flathead bit, and the D-pad can then be removed. Using a Torx T6 bit, the five visible screws can be removed. The top PCB can now be separated from the bottom one. However, unless you desolder the vibration motors, which I won't be doing as my soldering iron is less effective at heating up than a light bulb, it cannot be completely removed. There are two more screws that can now be removed. The bumpers can now be unclipped. I found it easier to unclip the bottom side first, then the top. Careful too, as these like to fly off. The triggers are held down by two screws each. With those out, they can then be set aside. The trigger vibration motors can be moved to the side to allow more maneuverability of the PCB. Now we have access to the last screw holding down the bottom PCB. The shroud around the Xbox button can be unclipped with the pry tool. It also helps to press the button down at the same time. With the PCB out, all that's left to do is remove all the buttons ready for a bath. And there we are, that's all the components of an Xbox One controller, including the new bits too. And with a quick scrub off camera, we're now ready to completely reassemble it all. And there we are, no more grotty, gungy thumbsticks. We now have a nice, clean, almost new looking controller that you can let your friend use without them thinking you have a vendetta against them. 
Hopefully I've helped you all change your thumbsticks and make some friends. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.